have to focus now. I know. This isn't a game. When I burned my homicide badge, did you forget that, Barney? Detective Miller. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry. You want a chance to prove yourself, yes. right? Tonight's your night. Yes, sir. Back me up. Yes. And do not let the suspect get the upper hand. I understand, sir. You even listening to me? Of course. I've never dealt with situations like this before, have you? No. <coughs> have you? Oh, yeah. There was a time I thought I'd seen it all, kid. <laughs> Masked bandits stuffing the ice cream jerk into the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> the vegetarian kiosk gets it. I, I, I read the files. I'm well aware. You think I'm making love to you here, kid? Jeez. <laughs> oh, this isn't a game. This is a killer. We have to question the suspect. <laughs> Don't interrupt. I've dealt with these people before. What people? Killers, Mr. Foley. Detective Foley. <laughs> Detective Foley. <laughs> 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 so, you ready for my pearls? Yes, sir. All right, this may save your life tonight. I'm sorry, sir. Let's see, Club Inferno, approximately 10:18 p.m. Sir, shut up. Yes, sir. <laughs> <sighs> Male dancer in the office with a type in chest. Shut up. Yes, <laughs> no, not a night. Yeah, only in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a joke. Of course not. Yeah. Hey, we could be dealing with a criminal mastermind here. We are? Yeah, think about it. What would no one ever suspect? I see. Yeah, you get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at a pattern here, you stupid rookie. Someone's bumping off the competition. Sure. Yeah, serial killer. So you keep your gun and your pepper spray handy through this. Sir, but this sir. is a training camp, cadet. This is the real thing. I understand. All right. We could be dealing with the most dangerous person in this city. Yes, sir. You stay sharp. Yes. Don't worry. You better get back to this. I understand. You ready? Yes. Right. Open the door. This is far from ordinary. Shouldn't we at least let the suspect know the charges yeah, it's first? It's too late for that.
How dare you claim them all for yourself? This is serious, Mrs. Fairly, just call me Violetta. And how is this for my safety when I'm the one in bondage here? Uh, oh, unless we come up with a safe word. How about fuzzy pops? <laughs> you know the victim, Randall Exley? Yes, I knew Nitro. Nitro? Nitro Glistening, the dancer. Jesus Christ. Does he ever talk? Detective Foley is here to observe and assist. Well, tell him to come closer so I can observe and assist him. Oh, hey, this isn't a joke. Hold on! You, baby Foley, come closer. Okay. Oh, hush, Barney Five out by hard. No, sir. Let me have a look at you. Mm. You look strong. Fit. Oh, thank you. Oh, and he speaks with a lovely voice. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I think I'd rather have him talk to me than you. You're kind of traffic. I'm the lead investigator. That's how this works. Take a good look at me, show. Do I look like I play by the rules? Get back where you were, Foley. Please, let's just get this shit over with. Do you really let him talk to you like that? Please, if you would just cooperate, things would go a lot smoother. Okay, baby. Please. Later. Please. <laughs> just answer Detective Miller's questions. Oh, anything for you. <laughs> All right, Flash of Magic, hit me. <laughs> you knew the victim. Yes. He was a terrible dancer. <laughs> Is that a source of... An animosity amongst the other employees? No, we all knew we couldn't dance. <laughs> <laughs> but he was popular. Not as popular as Mrs. Violetta Butterfly Dixon Crane, I can assure you that. <laughs> and you hated it. Hate is such a suburban word. <laughs> <laughs> I pity you. Did any of the other employees dislike him? Yeah, I'm asking the questions here, Detective Foley. Oh, come on, give the kid a <laughs> <laughs> I killed him. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Everything with you is always later. I suspect you already have an idea, though. Yeah, we'll get to that later. <gasps> Fucking pops! What? <laughs> the safe word! I want out of here! Yeah, we are not finished, you. <sighs> what makes you think I killed him? Yeah, well, the murder weapon, for one. It's in evidence. Get it in. Do you have any testimony against moi? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Again, everything with you is always later. You must have an extraordinary sex life. <laughs> <laughs> that is none of your business, Kitty. Fairy Lane. What? It's Violetta. Right. What? It's a stage name. Why Blaine? What the fuck is going on here? You tell me. <laughs> We're just gonna wait until the evidence gets in here, and I don't want a word out of anybody until it does. All right, darling, but you might want some eucalyptus or some lavender for calming. If you just hand me my handbag, I believe I've got some in there. You didn't a chance. You might want to go rub one out, too. Leave some of that ginger. <laughs> Shut up. Sure. Quiet! Okay. I am in charge here, Daisy. Not you. Not them. Me. So just shut your mouth and let me do my job. Understood, baby. Shut your mouth! Oh, you need to get caught. Jesus, what am I going to do to get you to shut up?
I think we could all use a break, yeah? Yeah, yeah, maybe a break. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we know I'm doing this because I agree with you. Of course. Why? The bottom of the wind on rock. I was talking to Detective Fulton! No shit! You mean you don't have a 25 dollars bottle of French wine out there for me? Sir, I can just some coffee. Coffee for me, too, please. <laughs> All right. You keep your eye on us. All right. Whatever! Nancy boy bullshit. You never gave me or her a single chance. 
Her? Cuffy. Yes, her. What the hell is wrong with you, Barney? Hey, I'm trying to solve a murder. Here. So am I. Oh, yeah, I get it. You want more time on the playing field? Is that it, kid? You want your big chance to solve a big case and prove that to the old dogs you're better at. I am better at it. Boom, bitch! Shut up! You <laughs> jack fire shoot, Barney. That's <laughs> bullshit. I know my gut. That drag queen killed him. Stay up in the stern with the high heel. Stop getting sidetracked. You did it. Admit it. He was your lover, or your rival, or he made more tips or whatever. You killed him, and you will kill again. It's my job to get you off the streets, because the next week it might be your, your mailman, or the week after that, your, your hairdresser, your fucking Hey, drink. hey, that's enough. I'm taking her out of here. It's a god, can't you see that, you stupid moron? God. Enough. I'm taking her out. Robbie, No, we are not finished here. We have nothing to hold her here. What, you stupid kid? The shoot! It's a fucking murder weapon! The investigation will continue. I'm not subjecting her to any more of this. Stop saying her, you idiot! That's a do! Meaning guilty? You're free to go now, Violet. We're not formally arresting you at this time. Thank you, darling. I despise formality, Shirtless. No. We are not done yet. I got more questions, damn it. Sagittarius, darling. Hmm. What? We can pick this up at another time when we have more information. Oh, spoken like a true blue dick. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> go ahead. Let the suspect go. But if he skips down, it'll be on your head, Detective Foley. I have the advantage here, but you two are busy pussyfooting around. I know where you live. I got my eye on you. So if you didn't think about skipping down, I could have you extradited back here. I know what I know. My instincts are as good as gold. So if you even think about skipping down, I ain't through with you yet. And yet somehow, I am through with you. <laughs> Just watch yourself. I have nothing to hide and no intention of leaving town, baby muffins. <laughs> Good night, Sweeney Morris. You? You call yourself a cop? You call yourself a human? Well... Wait a minute. Did you forget your purse now? Barney! Hey, don't worry there, sweetheart. I can take care of myself. Ask me a direct question, sir. What? Ask me. Kill my true baby. That really is the question you want to ask now, is it? You should really get your own. Hold on, I got this. I am a fucking beautiful and talented, amazing drag sensation. What is it that you really want to know, asshole? What is your gay mind so curious about? <laughs> am I really a man? Yes. Good work, Detective. But I'm also one of the most generous people you could ever meet. But you were too busy trying to judge me and this poor boy here. So if you so much as call me in as a witness or a suspect, I will refuse to talk to the likes of you and only speak to Detective Foley. As of now, the case against Mrs. Violet, the butterfly victim crane, belongs exclusively to Detective Foley. You could be letting a murderer loose tonight, Barney, and I know that drives you crazy. But tonight, I will sleep like a baby on fluffy and forgetful account sheets, and you won't. You will spend the rest of your pathetic career wondering whether or not I did it, but I'm luring up and not talking. Shame, shame, baby. How long have you been talking to Detective Foley? This beautiful twist is of Shakespearean proportions, and you don't deserve to actually know the answer. Nobody does, you bigot bastard. I just wanted to show you the extreme intelligence of a man who makes his living as a woman, who you won't even try to understand or comprehend. Mm -hmm. I'll drive you home. Did I kill him? And I will know. Maybe. Did I kill him? Well, what about you, 
fine, darlings. What do you think? Oh, don't worry, there won't be a test later. <laughs> Did I kill him? No! no. 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 Hmm. Guilty! Okay, I'll tell you guys in a second. Don't get your panties in a bunch like mine are right now. <laughs> Shit, it's up for interpretation. Yeah. Ch